Hello everyone, we present on anomaly clustering. This is work done by Ki Hyuk Son, Jin Song Yun, Chu Myung Lee, Chen Yu Lee, and Thomas Fister from Google Cloud AI research team. Given unlabeled images, anomaly detection aims to divide them into two groups, each of which represents normal and abnormal images. On the other hand, Anomaly clustering aims to group images into coherent clusters of anomaly types. For example, we not only want to group these images into normal and abnormal, but also want to further group abnormal images into different clusters, each of which represent different anomaly types, such as gray stroke, glue strip, oil, or the crack on the surface of the tile. Compared to the binary grouping of anomaly detection, Multinomial grouping of anomaly clustering is more expressive and offers potential advantages in improving active learning and defect root cause analysis for manufacturing defect detection applications. Anomaly clustering problem is challenging due to several reasons. First, similarly to anomaly detection, access to label training data is limited for many real-world problems. As such, it is typical to solve problems in unsupervised or semi-supervised settings. Second, we find that anomaly patterns are typically local, which is in contrast with the clustering of object-centered natural images. To resolve these issues, we first propose to use pre-trained deep visual representations, which is more data efficient. Second, we adopt the idea of multiple instance clustering with patch representation to compute the distance between images in unlabeled sets. Here is our proposed framework. Given an image, we extract patch embeddings using pre-trained deep visual feature extraction networks such as ResNet or Vision Transformer. We compute the weights that specify the importance of each patch in an image and take a weighted average of patch embeddings with the weights to get a compact representation. Finally, the compact features are fed into off-the-shelf clustering algorithms such as spectral clustering or hierarchical clustering. And as I mentioned, the weights specify the importance of individual patch embedding to help anomaly clustering. In order for these weights to specify the importance, it needs to represent abnormality of patch embeddings at each location. To this end, we propose two ways to compute these weights in a fully super unsupervised way or semi-supervised way using label normal data. And as shown on the right, our method can provide weights that identify defective regions when they exist. We evaluate our method on MVTEC and magnetic tile defect datasets. We first show some qualitative result that shows images in each cluster returned by our proposed method. As you see, our method returns clusters composed of images of similar types of defects. We report quantitative result in terms of normalized mutual information, or NMI. The higher, the better. As we see, our proposed method results in higher NMI compared to baselines. Furthermore, our method significantly outperforms state-of-the-art deep clustering methods, which are typically geared towards solving clustering of object-centered natural images. 